Hey guys and welcome to another video of DxO Photo Lab 5. In this video we're going to compare the DxO D Prime in the new DxO Photo Lab 5 with Topaz and on one no noise AI. So this is going to be interesting. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to Photo Lab and then just to be fair, I'm not going to do any kind of editing. So I turned everything off in terms of contrast, luminance and color. Only thing I did is turn on the deep prime noise reduction, the lens sharpness and the unsharp marks in this side and everything else just to verify, just to be transparent, I turn everything else off. Same with Topaz, of course in the Topaz Denoise AI I cannot do anything. So I just use the automatic version of the raw mode raw AI model so uh, that's another thing that I did and in on one on noise AI same thing again I, I'm not using the um, the photo raw I'm using the no noise AI so that means that I don't have any opportunity to do any kind of color correction or exposure correction so in this case I cannot do much except using automatic noise reduction so what i do what i'm going to do i'm going to go back to the dxo and then export so i'll go back to the folder and subplex is dxo and i click export right there i'm going to give it some time obviously because i have other two software open and all of them are super powerful so i cannot do much over there Typically because I didn't do much of editing, so it should be a lot faster, uh, usually. So I'll close it so that other software can have some time and use my processor. Here as well, I'm going to go back to the D, um, Topaz Denoise AI and then save set as image and select my folder. Where is my folder? There, in the source, I think it's, it's from the source. So. That should be fine there as well and then click save and just in case i'm going to go back to my folder and see if it's saving for me so it's good it's saving for me so that's done too i'm going to close it now we are in the no noise ai so i'm gonna click terminate and it's saving a photoshop psd we don't need the psd we a jpeg is enough in my opinion and quality of the JPEG obviously 100% so that I can get the maximum quality and see exactly what it's giving us. I'm going to delete the unnecessary files from there, especially the, the sidecar and open all of it. So now I'm going to select all the four images and click the compare mode in the fast tone and you have all of them right there. Now, interestingly, even though none of them, I, I didn't touch anything in anywhere. So clearly still there is a lot difference in terms of the contrast and in terms of the um, color. So top left um, corner, that's the JPEG from on one. There you go. I'm clicking it for you. Top right one is the original. There you go. I'm clicking again. Bottom left one is done in Topaz Denoise AI. The bottom right corner is done by the DxO Deep Prime Mode. So let's zoom in 100%. So we're at 100%. Let's go everywhere. So if you're confused about which one is what, look at the naming so each one has a naming. So you have on one written on the top left. Top right is the raw. Bottom left is the denoise AI. And obviously the bottom right is the D prime. Now bear in mind, the on one looks much more smooth. Where the denoise has a kind of like a red-ish tone, which I don't understand. The best one in my eyes in terms of the sharpness and detail is the D prime. But it doesn't mean that the on one is bad. Does it mean that the, 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 the 
Torpass version is bad. My opinion is simple as that. You have the advantage of um, on one and the, the DxO because both of them now offer their dedicated AI noise reduction in their software. Photolab has the Deep Prime and on one photo raw now has the on one no noise ai so which means that if they look um different you can always edit them like get the best result using the sliders for the contrast for the sharpening for the color and so on the topaz on the other hand i personally recommend if you are using as a plugin that should be your last step so in theory you should edit everything in photoshop or in my case what I do in Affinity Photo and then I edit them first in the develop persona which in Photoshop world it should be calling Adobe Raw and I don't do any kind of noise reduction and sharpening there, I leave them as zero then I bring it over to the layer and I apply my noise reduction there which give me the absolute phenomenal result so in Topaz that should be your last step where the both of them the DxO and the on one should you know it doesn't really matter um, so and look at the bokeh area in the bokeh and the shadow area the the DxO is the darkest kind of in my eyes again you can you could change it right you could you could you could use the sliders of shadow to bring up some more details right uh, but I'm talking about by default, right? But default is the darkest where the topaz and the on one didn't do much even though the topaz has the natural kind of bokeh where the on one looks a bit more, I don't know, mashed potato. Then again, I, I don't know how many times I repeatedly saying it. It doesn't really matter anymore because you can do the editing first and then do the noise reduction at the very end and everything should be fine. Uh, if you look at the histogram in each four, the raw and the on one looks identical. So technically meaning that on one didn't do anything in terms of the manipulation in the raw file. They just did noise reduction. Where Topaz looks funny and the DxO, the black is crushed. Anyway, that's my little take. Hope you liked the video. If so, please do like and subscribe. And most importantly, if you could help me, you know, by liking and subscribing and being a Patreon subscriber, whatever you can do helps me a lot to continue this type of contents. Look after yourself. Bye-bye.